Question number 11. Diagram 4 shows a closed cuboid with a square base XCM and height HCM. And then diagram 4B shows a right pyramid with a square base XCM and height HCM. Okay. It's given that the total surface area of the cuboid is 96 cm square. Show that the sum of volume of cuboid and right pyramid is... So they, they want you to prove this basically. The total volume of the total volume of both of the the shapes there is this. They want you to show this. Okay. So how are we going to do? So first of all, if you want to find the volume, we have to add up both of the uh, shapes, right? So the first shape here is wait, uh, they ask for volume. So the first shape is uh, cuboid. So it's x length times width times height. So it's x square times a h because here is also a square base right so here's x also so the you got that and then plus this one is what a pyramid so 1 over 3 times the base area so base area is what it's also a square base right so here's your x that's what they said so here will be x square times the height okay so the question here they want us to prove you notice there is no h there right so that means we have to remove the h. We have to substitute with something. So what do we substitute? Now before that, what you can do is we can factorize the h out. So you get x squared plus 1 over 3 x squared. So that means these two can combine. So you get 4 over 3. So I'm just going to write straight away. 4 over 3 x squared h. Okay. So now what are we going to substitute? in the h now since they gave you this they told you that total surface area of the cuboid is 96 so we have to find the h from there okay we form a new equation so total surface area how do we find the surface area so now this is square base right so here will be x square and so here will be the same as well the top here so that means you got 2x sorry you got 2x square Okay, so top and bottom done. Next, you have the sides. So the sides will be here. This side here will be x times the height. So x times h. And you got four of the same area, right? So that means it's going to be 4xh, which is equals to 96. Okay, so huh, let's see uh, what we can do. So we can actually... Yeah, shift everything. Lah. So you get 4xh equals to 96 minus 2x squared. And h is equals to 96 minus 2x squared over 4x. So you can actually uh, sim I mean, simplify this further. So you get h equals to... So 96 divided by 4x, you should get 24 over x minus 1 over 2x wait uh, yeah x over 2 okay so this new equation here the h you can substitute into this part to find the volume so here will be 24 over 3 minus x over 2 so you expand this 4 over 3 times 24 over 3 you will get 30 wait sorry why, why did I write 34 24 over 3 is to be 34 over x. 24 over x. So, 4 over 3 times 24, I will get 32. And then x squared divided by x, I get x. Minus, um, here I will get cube, right? So, it will be 2 over 3, x cube. Okay, so this is, uh, what's the unit? This is cm, right? So, cm cube. So, this is your answer next goes a2 find the value of x when v is maximum so when they say maximum you know lah so maximum means v dv dx equals to zero okay because it's maximum volume so we have to find dv dx first so dv dx you have to differentiate this so you get 32 minus 2x square which is equals to 
0 okay so from here you know 2x square equals to 32 x square equals to 16 and x is equals to now uh, you square root 16 you get plus minus 4 but since we are finding for what is the x uh? x is length right so it doesn't make sense to get negative right there is no negative length so it's only going to be positive 4 okay it's only going to be positive 4 uh, you can show la, you can show that you can write also x equals to negative 4 then you reject here okay you can do that the main thing we want is this x equals to 4 so x equals to 4 will give you the maximum volume okay so you just substitute back to find the maximum volume so 32x minus sorry the x is 4 right minus 2 over 3 4 cube yeah so you should get your answer 20 sorry 256 over 3 yeah cm cube this is your maximum volume you can also write in decimal up to you so this is the answer now question b if there is a small change in v okay so small change means what small change or approximate change same thing lah. so that means is delta v so delta v is 0 0.84 that's a small change find the percentage change okay forget about percentage first okay we find the they ask for change in x so that means they're looking for delta x okay we ignore the percentage we find the percentage later find delta x first so we know that delta v over delta x should be equals to dv dx correct this is uh, the formula we always use so dv dx we have already found which is here okay but we want to know what is the dv dx when x is equal to 3 so we have to substitute into the this equation here the word dv dx equation okay so we do that first okay let me write so i've got no, not much space here okay i write down here so dv dx equals to 32 minus 2 times 3 square so this one you should get 14 32 minus 3 square is 9 times 2 18 so you get 14 yeah is it yeah correct 14 so this one here is 14 and then you have the delta v which is 0 0.84 so you can find delta x lah. so delta x will be equals to um 14 wait sorry 0 0.84 divided by 14 so delta x is 0 0.06 yeah so now you've already found delta x now you want to find percentage so percentage means what you take the delta x over the original amount of x times 100 percent oh sorry 100 percent so what is the the delta x delta x is 0 0.06 divided by the original value of x is 3 times 100 percent so you get your answer 2%. So the change is 